All right, who's ready to start the second half? Anyone? Anyone? Our next speaker is a senior at Huron High School, aspiring to study the field of neurology here at the University of Michigan. Please welcome Mihir Sapre. Dr. Stephen LeBurge once said, if we must sleep through a third of our lives, why should we sleep through our dreams too? Now what he's referring to is a lucid dream, the act of being consciously aware inside of our dreams. Now even on the surface, that's just crazy. I mean, we're conscious, but then again, aren't we also unconscious because we're asleep? It's a paradox. And usually, people look like that the first time they hear it. And rightfully so. Lucid dreaming has been debated for hundreds of years, especially in the Western world. And it wasn't until Stephen LeBurge, who is often called the pioneer of lucid dreaming, that it had his first concrete proof. But before we get into that, let's talk about the sleep cycle. We go through 90-minute cycles of light and deep sleep. Now, in light sleep, we have what's called REM, rapid eye movement, and that's usually when the dreams take place. Except in a lucid dream, your eyes don't move rapidly. When you look right, your eyes look right, and when you look left, your eyes look left. So, Dr. Stephen LeBurge conducted an experiment, and he told his patients, all right, when you become lucid, I want you to look left and right 10 times. And what he found for the patients that successfully did this is that the uh, eye scans would show a line moving up and down 10 times as opposed to a rapidly moving line. What this told them is that his patients were indeed consciously aware inside of their dreams, and they were communicating to the real world about it. Pretty cool. So why would you want to lucid dream in the first place? Oftentimes, the reason most people began lucid dreaming are the simple pleasures, such as flying or visiting outer space, creating a beautiful world. Sometimes it's just to, you know, fulfill your own fantasies. And I'll let you put two and two together there. <laughs> but there's more to it. You can problem solve. So let's say you have a repeated nightmare, and in this nightmare, Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street's attacking you every single night. Except one night, you become lucid. He's about to attack you, attack you, and you say, stop. This is my dream. This is my head. Get out of here. And I guarantee you, your nightmares will go away. It's that easy. Another way you can problem solve is, let's say you have a fear of heights. Now, inside your lucid dream, you can jump off of tall buildings and skyscrapers and get the same sensation as falling as you would in reality. This will gain you the confidence to be at higher heights in reality. And there's more. There's creativity. Let's say you're an artist and you become lucid in a dream, you can say, hey dream, I want to see a beautiful painting. You walk into the next room and you see something like that. Some of the most beautiful paintings we know to date come from dreams, such as Pablo Picasso's painting of the dream. And here's a really unique example. There was a ski team in uh, Europe, and the head coach taught all his skiers how to lucid dream. And inside their lucid dreams, they would practice flips, stunts, tricks, things they've never tried before, except they'd be in the safety of their own head, which would uh, you know, prevent them from accidents. Now, the result of this is astonishing. Almost every single skier on this team improved their time by at least three seconds and learned a new trick, all for lucid dreams. So there's a ton of reasons why you might want a lucid dream. But how do you become lucid in the first place? The best way is through a process called reality checks. A reality check is anything you do to prove to yourself that you're not in a dream. So if I were to ask you guys right now, you know, are you dreaming? You'd probably say no. Well, prove it to me. Now, one way you can do this is by reading a sentence. If you read a sentence, look away, read it again, except the second time it changes, you can bet you're in a dream. That's my bumper sticker, by the way, so. <laughs> um, but that's only one in the many handful of reality checks. Another couple reality checks you could do is feeling your hair. If your hair feels longer or shorter than you remember, you could bet you're in a dream. If you look at your hand and you see seven fingers, four fingers, three fingers, long fingers, short fingers, if you don't see five fingers looking back at you, you can bet you're in a dream. And if you ask yourself as often as possible, am I dreaming, and do a reality check to prove that you're not, eventually you'll do the same thing in a dream. Now, a great complement to reality checks is keeping a dream journal, which is very simple. All you need is a date, a creative title, and some content. Why keep a dream journal? Three reasons. One, it detects dream signs. So if you send to see that you have a lot of dreams outside or with person A, you want to do more reality checks with them. The second reason is dream recall. How do you expect to remember your regular dreams, your lucid dreams, if you don't remember your regular dreams? And the third reason is motivation. If you wake up every morning and write your dreams and they're not lucid, you're going to want the taste of that sweet lucid dream. And if you're lazy, there's always technology. This is the Lucid Dreaming Mask by Reme, and it detects your rapid eye movement inside your sleep and gives you a signal to do a reality check inside your dreams. Technology's crazy, I don't know. But um, there's a lot of other methods, but uh, whatever method you decide to use, you have to remember you only can if you think you can. And by that I mean, if you create a mental block in your head that lucid dreaming is difficult, impossible, and you won't be able to have one, it's going to be really difficult to have a lucid dream. And if you're familiar with the learning curve, it says that you're bound to have a slow start. So perhaps it takes you a month or two to have your first lucid dream. 
but you're going to hit that steep acceleration eventually. And maybe after six months, you start having a lucid dream every week. And before you know it, you're going to start having a lucid dream every single night. But whoever you are, you have the ability to lucid dream. Every single in this person in this room has the ability to lucid dream. And if you keep up with your reality checks, you keep writing down your dreams, eventually you will have success. Thank you.